Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are taking a look at SD cards and specifically what SD cards you're going to want for your new DJI aircraft. If you have just bought a Mavic Air, a Phantom 4 Advanced or Pro or an Inspire 2 your existing SD cards may not work and the reason for that is these are 100 megabits per second models so they record at a higher data rate than all of the earlier models from DJI before such as the Phantom 4 or the Mavic Pro. Before we get into the cards themselves there is something I need to explain because there is some terminology that tends to get people confused. DJI always write the recording speed of their aircraft in megabits per second. This is listed as a capital MBPS. SD cards however tend to measure this in megabytes per second and this is labelled as capital M, capital B and S. The difference between these two is quite large and the basics are that 100 megabits per second on your DJI aircraft equates to 12.5 megabytes per second on the card write speed. So when you are looking at cards do not get confused and think a 40 megabytes per second card speed or a 60 megabytes per second card speed is not fast enough for your aircraft because they are actually two different measurements. Taking a look at speeds on cards this actually gets a little bit complicated because there isn't a easy standard measuring method used and the SD classification system has jumped about a bit. The basics are as I've shown on the screen all cards at least 10 megabytes a second are classed as class 10. So whatever card you're going to want you must make sure that it is a class 10 card. The next thing if you look across to the second column is you've got U1 and U3. U1 cards support up to a minimum of 10 megabytes per second write speed and U3 cards support up to a minimum of 30 megabytes per second write speed. For your newer DJI aircraft like the Mavic Air you're going to look and find a card that is labelled as U3 because the minimum write speed for a card in U3 is 30 megabytes per second and that is easily above the 12 megabytes per second that the Mavic Air records in. This is not to say that an existing U1 card will not work with the Mavic Air because if you look it says the minimum standard for a U1 card is 10 megabytes per second but that is the minimum. However if you are buying cards I would strongly suggest purchasing a card that is a class 10 U3 card because that way you know it's going to work without any problems. So what is the best card to buy? Well there are hundreds on the market and this is just a quick shot of a few. However specifically for me I stick to two cards and these are the SanDisk Extreme and the SanDisk Extreme Pro. I have been using these cards for approximately two years and I have never had a failure in one of them. Now I have broken a few of them and lost a few of them along the way as well however in use I have never had one of these cards let me down. As for what size card to use well I would always recommend going for a 32 gigabyte card and having more cards at a smaller size that way if you do lose one you still have some spare ones to be able to fly with. I always tend to purchase these cards from Amazon and the SanDisk Extreme card tends to be the best value. This is one I have just had a quick look at here now and it's available for $18 and this card will pretty much do you for every DJI aircraft you buy now and in the foreseeable future as well. Hopefully this has cleared up some questions on what SD card you need for your new DJI product. There are some links to these cards in the description for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will do another one again soon.